GPS Signal Classification Explained, L1, L2, L5, and L3, and why the new Game Changer, the L band group radio frequencies from 390 megahertz to 1550 megahertz, which comprises the L1, L2, L5, and L3 frequencies, which I'll go over and explain what each one does and why the new iPhone and Apple Watch Ultra is a game changer. So stay tuned to the end. The L1 band is the frequency that civilian devices use, like your Garmin, your Apple Watch, your iPhone, or your iPad or any other GPS device. The L2 band is used by the military and dual band receivers for devices that require more accuracy. A dual frequency receiver is a higher accuracy receiver because it can remove some of the interference and error caused by the ionosphere and atmosphere and atmospheric qualities affecting different transmission densities. Sort of like phase cancellation used in active noise canceling headphones. The L5 GPS frequency is 1176.45 megahertz. It is a relatively new frequency. It is reserved for safety and life signal and emergency transmission, which the new Apple Watch Ultra and the new iPhone 14 series use for our emergency services SOS service. GPS signal, how it works. For beginners. So the carry wave for GPS, this carry wave doesn't actually carry or transmit any information. So how does it work? It works by modulating or changing the carrier wave to transmit data, aka information. There are four different ways we can modulate or change the carrier wave. The first way is pulse modulation, which is basically turning on and off the signal. Think of it as a stoplight where green light the cars can go, but red light the cars have to stop. And the light tells the cars when it can go. And by varying that, it changes the amount. The second way of doing it is called amplitude modulation. Amplitude is the height of the wave. And by varying that, you can carry information. And fun fact, that's what AM radio stands for. The third way is by modulating the frequency. The frequency is how often it hits the peaks and the lows. Quick sound waves are things like treble or upper frequencies, whereas things like bass or lower frequencies is a slower frequency sound. The GPS uses biphase modulation. It's a series of one and zeros called binary data. The direction of a carrier wave flips depending on if it's a zero or a one. And once it reaches its transmitter or destination, it is compiled by the compiler, just like any other code that's run on your Apple Watch, your iPhone, your iPad, or any other computer. I'll have all the affiliated things that we talked about linked in the video description. If you liked this, then check out this video. If you liked this or found it helpful, like and share it with someone else and leave your questions or comments down below.